Hey guys, I'm here in Toronto. Well, outside of Toronto, I'm in Richmond Hill. And I just wanted to, because I have it fresh in my mind, <clears throat> I just wanted to share a little update because um, I'm here for a languages workshop. Um, some of you know that I, I have a language background. I'm in university, I did it in English and a French degree. And I got a teaching degree. So I've always, well not always, I've kept uh, a part-time French teaching job usually, um, very part-time over the last 10 years. Um, I had a break there for about four years where I didn't teach at all. Um, but I wanted to just um, let you guys know. So what, another one of the things we talked about today, yesterday I had some um, vocabulary that I shared with you in German and Spanish. Um, but today I learned that the um, Mohawk language is, there's only uh, just under a hundred people that um, still speak this language. And um, I thought that's fascinating. One of the, our um, colleagues that's in my group this week, um, he's a Mohawk language teacher. And I just thought, wow, that is such a challenge because it's also not um, written. So there's nothing like for him to pull any resources from. It's all oral language. Um, and I just wanted to share uh, with you a word that I learned in Mohawk today and it's saigo which means hello and also um, yeah I just thought that was really cool uh, maybe you can teach that to someone else and we can kind of help share some Mohawk language with each other and across Canada um, I also wanted to send out a shout out to one of my sponsors um, Carolyn Bruce Designs uh, I just got a couple things that she makes here with me um, she does these bookmarks uh, and these are, yeah, these are great little gift ideas for um, when you're traveling. I always take some of these with me anyways, just to give us um, hostess gifts. I'm staying with a host family here, another Waldorf family. Um, so I brought some gifts for them. I hope they're, they're not connected to on Facebook, so they won't know what I'm giving them. And then she also makes um, these um, tea infusers. So these, uh, yeah, you can do loose leaf tea. These are also really great gift ideas. Um, Carolyn also does like huge necklaces and steampunk and she's super creative. So if you haven't checked her out yet, please do so. She's also like a really great, super, super awesome lady. Um, super generous, super nice with her, um, with, with her everything, with her being and with also all of her talents and her sharing and her skills. Um, she's very inclusive. So if you haven't checked her out yet, um, please do so. I'll put the link here on the bottom of this video. And I just wanted to say hi or sci go from Richmond Hill in Ontario. So have a great day, everybody. If you know any other languages and you want to leave us a note and you have um, experience, I see Sebastian is here. He's Polish. I'm not sure Christy Hughes, if you remember anything. Yasmin Jakupowicz. I don't know what language you speak but if you could leave a note and you want to share um, a word in your language that would be super awesome too so um, thanks everybody and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon have a wonderful day oh and also the other thing that I learned um, I'm here with the Waldorf school and the other thing that I learned I was looking up famous Waldorf people and I thought this was interesting if you don't know what Waldorf education is it's very arts-based very um, interesting for sure it's it's probably one been one of the most interesting um, schools that I've taught at and uh, Justin Thoreau and Jennifer Aniston are both from a Waldorf school which is super interesting I think too so um, have a look if you don't know what Waldorf is um, have a look and uh, yeah if you have kids I would recommend putting them into Waldorf education because it's it's a neat it's a neat way to grow up for sure very imaginative very creative and uh, yeah if you've got really artistic kids this is probably the place I would put them so um, anyway have a great day and uh, see you later